Riley and I have been a practicing witch for about five or six years now. Um, once again, I'm in a different spot. This will probably end up being pretty close to where I record because this is the in progress new altar. Still not completely organized. I will do an update, update video when I am done with that. Um, but until then, we have another subscription box today. And it's the tiny cauldron. <laughs> you remember the last video? It blew my freaking mind and I am so excited to get into this one again. So without further ado, let's do this. So like, it's a big boy. Like he's a big boy this month and I'm curious as to what's inside. <gasps> okay, so first thing on top is, uh, so it's water scrying. I'm assuming that's what we're doing this month. But this paper, it's like proper parchment. Like it feels like she made it. <laughs> oh my good, this is, this is, Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm... Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to look too much at it only because I don't... Like, I'm assuming that's the theme, but I don't want to know what's in there, if that's in there, whatever. Um, so, this one says, follow the enchanted mariner's compass. Okay, again, I don't want to read too much, but it does say on the front in a handwritten note... Um, this kit contains live moss. Place moss in indirect light and spritz with water often. Okay. So there's a little something in there. So they come packaged like this. It's got a nice little hole in here. So I'm gonna pull out something here first. <gasps> that. That's a good weight. It's definitely gotta be marble or something. But like, that's a nice bowl. I have one that's kind of similar, but it's flatter and... It's put away somewhere, but oh my goodness, I love this. This is awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's one. And I'm gonna come in here. Doo, doo, doo. We have this bottle here, if I can. Doo. Okay, so this is the water witching oil. Okay, so this one is, the base is coconut and cypress oils, and the blend is moss, bladder wrap, ash, and fever few. Ooh, that's, there we go. And that one actually smells really good. Okay, here's like the best part. Like all of her oils are just so full of stuff. Like, this one. Oh my goodness. There. You can really see now how much she has in her oils. And there's just something so beautiful about it. I don't know. They look so nice. And I have like a shelf, which again, I'll show you guys, where I actually display all my oils. So that's awesome. So water witching oil. Next, ooh, we have another salt blend here. This is the scrying salt. So once again, you've got quite a bit in there. This one has Irish moss, violet, bladder rack, and fever few with coarse sea salt. There you go. I like the salt mixes. I didn't use to. I really didn't for a long time because I don't like to use salt on the earth because it kills whatever it lands on. So I don't like throw salt and casting circles and stuff. Um, but now that I have my own bathtub, <laughs> Yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. Okay. Ooh, this is another oil. This one's very pretty too. Okay. Again, flip the cards, you can kind of see it. Nice and thick. This one's got a pretty kind of moss. This reminds me of like, I don't know, looking at it in person. If you guys ever saw Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, it reminds me of like where this, where the, um, in the Triwizard Challenge, or tournament where they're in the, I think it's the second task and it's like the little water flimpies, clumpies, whatever. So that's like, it reminds me like the tall seaweed scene. So the water witching oil. So this is number 
two, or is it the same thing? Do I just have two of them? I think I have two of them, but they look so different. Maybe it's two different versions, but it looks to be the same. Hmm. Maybe I got the wrong, um, whatchamacallit, tag for one of them. I'll email her, but that's okay. Cause like one of them looks more like it has moss and the other one, this one kind of looks like maybe it's got more of the ash in it. I don't know, we'll figure that out later. So I'm gonna remove one of this little layer here. Oh, that's pretty. So this one is the scrying smudge. Ooh, it's got, looks like a little bit of Palo Santo in there. Yep, the base is Palo Santo. And then it's got warm wood and sage wrapped in around it. That's a nice bundle. I have so many bundles right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, oh, it smells so good. I love warm wood. I love the way it smells. And then Palo Santo, of course. Everyone loves the way that smells. So I think that's it. Except for this part. Which apparently, this is actually something you can use. I was thinking about using it for like poppets because it's nice and kind of filling and you can still put stuff inside of it. So that's why I was going to start saving it and use it for that. But apparently it's actually something, not just, you know, wood chips. So I got to look into that and see what it is. Okay. So I have the bowl. I've got my scrying salt. I've got my scrying smudge. And then I've got two oils here that both say water witching oil, but they don't really look the same. So I'll email and find out. And if they are the same, well then great, I got two. Maybe it was supposed to be a one ounce and she didn't have any one ounce bottles, so she gave me two half ounce. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> so, uh, follow the enchanted mariner's compass. The elements are at the core of witchcraft for many of us practitioners. It is highly common that many rituals we perform pay homage to and request the assistance from earth, air, fire, and water to encourage an, to encourage an intention. We can invoke all elements or we can harness particular elements to encourage particular intentions. So just talking about water magic um, and what we're doing with that. So the kit contains live moss. I don't know which one's live moss. Is this like a kind of moss? Like this? I don't know, I got questions. <laughs> That's the best part about like a, a personally curated kit is that you can just email and ask questions because it's not like manufactured. So it's not like a million boxes of the same thing. It's just a small like single person mistakes happen because it's a single person doing it all. So. I'm okay with it, but like I'm, and this, this is amazing. Okay. <laughs> um, burn purple, blue, silver, and place one dish. So place your marble scrying bowl in your altar, orienting yourself so that you're facing west. Sprinkle salt and herbs from the sachet around the, scry the scrying bowl. Oh, maybe the sachet was supposed to have live moss in it. I didn't have a sachet though. Figure it out unless I'm like completely mixing missing something in the bottom of this box. I could very well be. Yeah, I'm not. But I will email and we'll get an update. Um. Okay. Best the room is dark. It's only the candlelight to aid in seeing. Anoint your bowl with the water scrying oil, ensuring that there's a very thin layer all along the inner portion of the bowl. Pour some distilled, ideally lake or pond water, about midway to the top of the bowl. Fill with amethyst or selenite as well if you want. Selenite m dissolves in water, so I'm curious as to why that would be something. Unless it's like supposed to just allow it to dissolve, because that is a possibility. Like I, I have selenite water that I put selenite in there because I fully intend for it to dissolve. And it's not, I know it's not immediate, but like over time, I don't know. I'm curious. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. You can use your water witching oil as you did your scrying oil if the scrying involves emotional topics. Okay, so 
water witching oil is one of the ones that I have water yeah so I probably was supposed to get a water scrying oil and I got two water witchings that's okay that's okay that's what emails for um and then da 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 da, -da. When not in this context, use the water witching oil for any emotional spells. Okay. Breathe deeply. It's telling you how to kind of start scrying. Open your eyes and focus. Support. Wow. Okay. This, I, mm, I'm so impressed with this paper. Like I know, I know it seems silly to be impressed with paper, but it's just one, a lot of information, both sides. It's gorgeous. It's like soft. The art is, I love the font. <laughs> it's small detail, detail, but I love the font. And like, I don't know. It's just, it feels handmade. And yeah, I'm impressed. And yeah, so I, this is really cool too. I don't know. I love smudge sticks. But this, this was a good one. This was really good. And I will email her about the sachet. And maybe I was supposed to have the other oil. But that's okay with me. I'm not going to complain about missing items from a box like this. Because it is such a small company that's just she's doing her best. <laughs> and I honestly, with the hecticness of Christmas didn't really expect the monthly ritual box to be monthly for a little while. I thought it was going to be as supplies came in because I know in her emails that there was a lot of different supplies that weren't coming in right now, especially for her um, Forbidden's box, which I'm trying to get my, my hands on soon. Um, so I didn't expect it to come this quick, so I was very pleasantly surprised when this showed up. Um, yeah, so I'm super impressed. I'm super excited. <laughs> Um, if you want to get a discount code for um, the Tiny Cauldron subscription, uh, or actually any item in her store, um, I do know that Bumblebee Fern has a discount code, that's the one that I used, um, and she does get a commission off of it. So if you like her channel or you just want a discount, use her code, because then she gets some commission from it. But if you do use her code, please go subscribe because that's what you get do. But also, don't forget to subscribe to me as well. <laughs> um, I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, and that way, if you wanna ring the bell as well, you get notified whenever I do post a video. Um, and there's a few in the works. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you had an excellent time, and blessed be.